What's going on, Junkie Nation? Gorgeous George and Goes are back with another superstar from the sport of mixed martial arts. We've been covering this guy for a long time. UFC lightweight Benil Dariush joins the program. What's up, Benny? How are you? Good, guys. Uh, good to see you. Yeah, uh, we were talking about this. You guys were the first people to interview me before, uh, I mean, when I got into the UFC. I don't, yeah, for sure, first ones. Yeah, well, uh, it has been an honor to cover your career. Uh, so many moments, so many Way more ups, a couple downs, but a ton more ups. And right now it's as kind of high as it can get without really being at the top. So congrats on that longevity, man, making a career out of this, what you've been able to do for your family. You know, uh, it, it's been an amazing ride. So congrats on all that, first of all. Yeah, thanks, brother. As far as the downs go, man, I mean, if it wasn't for the downs, um, I wouldn't really appreciate the up. So I'm I'm uh, quite grateful for the downs, too. Mm -hmm. All right. So just this past Saturday, we had the champion in your division, Islam Makashev, a guy you've been matched up with in the past. He defended his title. And even though the uh, challenger, Alexander Volkanovsky, is talking about, hey, I'd love to run it back, that's a whole separate issue. Uh, he's got someone waiting for him in Yair Rodriguez. And you and sorry, Islam has a lot of people that, you know, he can possibly defend against. I just don't see anyone else that stands out, you know, more than you do uh, in that regard, Benny. However, last week, a report came out where you and Charles Oliveira might already have something locked up. So can you kind of just give us the, the, the low the, the lowdown on that? Yeah, the UFC wants me to fight this guy. And uh, I, I made a joke recently saying, uh, I think you guys even reposted it. My wife was showing me. I made a joke about, um, I think the UFC wants me to uh, retire of old age before they gave me the title shot. Um, they sent me a contract for Charles. That's, that's correct. And right now we're just working out the details of the contract. And then uh, we'll go from there. I mean, I get to fight Charles Oliveira, one of the best to ever do it. I sounds good to me i'm not complaining about it but uh as far as who deserves to fight for the title no one no one is even close to uh what i've done so far agreed and i know you've never been one of those guys that begs for it you roll with the punches but um what what would be so bad if you were to just decline it like other fighters just sometimes decline fights um, and have you even heard in what direction they may want to go for Makashev? The unicorn, McGregor, who always it can be a spoiler to parties, He, him and Chandler are locked up as coaches. He's got USADA to deal with, and then later that fight. Um, but what, what else have you heard as a possibility for Makashev? I, I mean, I know he, he is going to observe the upcoming Muslim, is, uh, Muslim holiday of Ramadan, and so the spring kind of ties him up, but... We were kind of figuring out the math of coming off that and then being ready to fight maybe in July. What what, what would be wrong about declining the Oliveira fight and, and getting what's yours? Well, I mean, the UFC would have to offer me that opportunity, right? The UFC would have to say, hey, we want you to fight him in July. Because, like, I've, I've sat down with uh, Dana, Hunter, Sean Shelby. I've, I've, I've talked to all of them. Never have they mentioned, uh, oh, let's, let's do uh, Islam. The first thing they brought up was Charles, which is fine. I get it. But, like, me fighting, man, I, I, I was hoping to fight Charles, let's say, February, March, so right around this time. And uh -huh. then we could have done we could have done July against uh, uh, Makachev uh, or Volkanovski. So we know now that it's Makachev. That was my ideal situation. But then, you know, Charles kept pushing it back. It went from March to April, from April to May. And so now... They're trying to set us up for uh, May. Anyways, that's what kind of uh, ruined it for me. I, I don't. I love the idea of fighting Charles Oliver. I just wish it was sooner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was going to point to that meeting because if you go on your Instagram, you go down about the the ninth post. You know, since the, the most recent ones, there's you, there's Dana. I got to imagine in that meeting at some point, did the title matchup come up, even from your end, your manager's end, or or, they, just said, they basically said they'll think about it because at that time the Wolkanowski fight hadn't happened uh, the, the, the contract hadn't been set up they, they weren't sure about it so they said hey we'll think about it we'll, uh, um, and then you know a couple of weeks later I guess Wolkanowski really pushed for that title shot 
and they gave it to him. And um, okay, that's fine. You know, just give me give me Charles. Let's say March, so that way I fight in March, and then I can fight uh, right around the corner in, uh, in 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 July, no problem. But like, you go to May, and then I mean, I guess I could still do it. Uh, it just it, it's um, it, 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 it's just uh, less time to recover. Mm -hmm. Does it wind you up when you have to feel these questions? Um, because you seem to be at peace with your decision. I think it's us hardcores that are more pissed on your behalf. Yeah, you know, I'm, uh, it's so nice to see, like, the fans to get behind you the way they've been getting behind me. You know, this is, for me, it's almost like a first time. I've never had so many fans be like, dude, what the heck? This guy needs to get the title shot, and I don't even like him. <laughs> Those are my favorite people. They, they don't, they're like, I don't even like Darius, but he should get the title shot. So I, um, I, I really genuinely appreciate the fans. And then as far as how I feel, you know, I'm a father, uh, I'm, a, I'm a husband, and uh, most importantly, I'm a disciple of Jesus. And, and these are the things that I have to focus on. Like fights are gonna come and go. I'm I'm gonna they're they're not gonna fighting is not always gonna be a thing for me. But uh, the the things that I mentioned will be always for me. So that's that's uh, that's always gonna be my first focus. And then fighting is always gonna be second. And then um, if I don't have control over it, what can I do? I'll just uh, I'll just keep beating people up. And it's not like it's not like I'm complaining. I I pretty much signed up for this. I signed up to fight the best guys in the world. And uh, Charles is without a doubt one of those guys right all right well you know goes and i don't hate darius we love darius you know <laughs> and we'd love to see darius where he belongs and that's in a title fight because you've done what they've asked you have this win streak you've been beating good fighters ranked fighters fighters above you have turned you down so you've just been doing what needs to be done it is baffling to me and that 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 this hasn't happened it would be like i don't know if you follow football my team the 49ers got beat by the eagles i'm sure the nfl would have preferred the 49ers to be there uh i think we're a little slightly more popular than them you know have had more success for, but but we lost all right they sent us packing so they they faced the kansas city chiefs but i'm sure the nfl if you would ask them well what would you really have like you know what i mean like and and that's what you are you're the eagles you want you've been winning your fights you've been handling your business I, it, it oh my god I'm, I'm glad you're at peace with it because it, to no end does it irritate me that someone does it the right way and and they're they're not rewarded yeah the the, the issue is you know if i do let it get to me it's gonna dig deep you know it's one of those things it's gonna dig deep and then it's gonna it's it's gonna it's gonna slowly uh like um uh, um, turn me rotten from the inside. You know, I'm going to start hating the game and I'm going to start hating MMA. And, uh, bro, like, that's the last thing I want. I love fighting. Uh, if I if I get involved with the politics of it, if I get involved with all the other crap that comes along with it, honestly, I, I, I think I'd be done with this sport maybe a couple of years ago. I, uh, I, I, I bro, I love training. I love fighting. Like, toss me in for fights. Um, you know, the, I'm getting older, so recovery is a little bit slower and I'm fatter. So that's the only reason I don't fight as much as I used to. But I was hoping to fight in a couple of weeks. Like, uh, the UFC's, you know, was supposed to give me the fight in a couple of weeks, but it didn't happen. Benny, this past weekend was kind of tough trying to figure out what was going on between Islam and Volkanovski because, uh, Volkanovski just looked so good that we couldn't really tell if it was Islam that maybe had a couple deficiencies that we didn't know before, or if it was Volkanovsky's star that shines so much that that would have happened to just about anything, anyone. How did you watch that fight? What did you think of the performances? I thought they were both great. Um, what's the what's the quote I'm thinking about? Uh, the analogy, what is it? Uh, unstoppable force meets an immovable object or something. It felt like that. These are very good fighters. You know, um, some might say number one and number two. The only reason I don't say that is because I believe I'm, I'm the best in the world. So they're the best, uh, some of the best fighters in the world coming at each other. And so you start to see holes in their games that might not even be there. You're only seeing these holes is because these freaking above, like they're uh, inhuman men uh, like colliding these uh like these great fighters colliding and so you start to see these things i thought the fight was great 
um, from both perspectives, um, a lot of things with Islam, uh, he, Volkanovsky just com- confirmed my beliefs because I, ha- I didn't really have any tapes on him outside of the Sarukian fight. But uh, Volkanovsky was just able to um, confirm my beliefs on, on what I thought his game was lacking and, and, and uh, what, what things I could take advantage of. What, what, um, what did surprise me and what, did, what I saw in Volkanovsky was um, he carried his chin a lot higher than I expected. He would finish his combos and his chin was up. And so I saw some new, th- new things in, in, in Volkanovsky's game that I would, I would say, uh, I, I want to say I didn't see in other fights. Um, so those, those were the couple of things I saw. And um, as far as surprises go, to be honest with you, there is uh, somebody just sent it to me. Um, uh, I was in an interview. They asked me my prediction for the fight, and I pretty much predicted it the way it was going to go. I said a decision for Islam, but I think Volkanovski could possibly, you know, get up and start doing some damage, and it'll be a close fight, basically. And and so not a whole lot surprised me, but their skill was great to watch. So in this fight, let's uh, – if. If uh, get signed on the dotted line, you and Charles Oliveira, uh, obviously you're very excited for this matchup and you would be focusing on Charles Oliveira. But is there a piece of him because he lost his title that, uh, I, you know, I know it's tough to speak for other people, but do you think there's like a little piece of him that's looking a little bit past you just because of wanting to get back to that spot and all that? Ah, uh, that's a, that's a hard question. Like, why would he? Uh, I don't know. Maybe he is. Maybe he's not. But the, you know, you could say the same thing about me. Like I, I could be just looking past him and looking at the title because I, you know, I, uh, I'm, I'm the most deserving or whatever. But I, my advice to him would be like, dude, make sure you pay attention to 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 me. I'm not, um, I'm, I'm not a walk in the park for anybody. Tell us about that moment that we're always talking about. The, not just the title fight, but winning the title. What is that, that perfect scenario that runs through your head as far as location? Who's there? That first phone call when you walk back? Like, Have you ever really played all that out in your mind? Nah. <laughs> oh, bro, I, I didn't even like – that's one thing I'm not very good at is, is planning ahead. I didn't even know today was Valentine's Day until this morning I woke up. So. <laughs> My wife is pissed at me, uh, so I gotta. I'm gonna do something nice for her. But like, I I didn't. I can't even think about it. But normally, I just call my mom, tell her, "Hey, I'm good, I'm not hurt anywhere," and and that's about it. And then I'll I'll start trying to reply to everybody, do the interviews, bro. I'm as as boring as you get. You know, the thing that makes me most sad after a fight is the fact that I'm not gonna fight for so long again. That's the thing that always makes me sad. As soon as I'm done fighting, I'm like, man, it's gonna be months or you know, this last time was, it, it took over a year before I fought. So it just, that's the thing that I think first of is like, it's going to take for, forever before I fight, but maybe the title will be different. You know, you win the title and you're like, Oh man, who do I call? Um, you know, who do I do my first interview with? Obviously we know that one, uh, things that like one. that. I, I don't know. I have to think about it now. Jeez, man. Don't, don't stress me out. You know, that is what stresses me out. I, I'm not very good at that. You know, it's funny is if you're missing a, a fight, try and go get a Valentine's Day card right now or a bear or chocolate. Now, Dude, it's a madhouse out there. It's crazy. My, my wife and I, we don't we do not do really cards. I might get her flowers, uh, but uh, in reality, we, we, we like to eat something nice and then have our daughter and hang out with her. Like, um, nothing, nothing like too crazy, you know, because... Uh, I could do the same thing that I would do on Valentine's Day on a Saturday and it would cost like a third of it and I wouldn't have to like fight someone over it. So uh, we'll do something, uh, just the two of us, uh, well, the three of us uh, today and then uh, we'll, we'll do something nicer on the weekend or something. I don't know. It's, it's a tricky one. All right. I got you. All right. Older brother George is going to come through. I know all you right, got a little right. bit of gray hair, but I got more because I'm older than you. First of all, you tell her, hey, oh, that was my bad. That was my bad about yeah. this morning. But didn't I give you a Tesla not too long ago? Uh, Settle down. We're going to go well, to a nice dinner, and we're, and we're going to be good. So, you know, that, that'll take care of that. And then as far as what goes, this question was either the Honda Center Man or Staples. That's where you want to win the title. And you want to have all your family 
uh, there present, all your friends, all them dudes that used to pick on you in high school, and then you reversed it and started whooping ass. Remember those stories you told us? Wow. Uh, they're going to be there. They're going to be cheering for you. Hey, man. Actually, that guy, that guy sn snuffed me out a couple times, you know, Wait, once he started learning how to defend himself. That's going to be a cool setting, man. It's got to be in the OC or L.A. You're right. Which one's in Anaheim? Is it Honda Center or is it Angel Stadium? What am I thinking of? Honda Center. Well, both. Right? both. Both are in Anaheim, yeah. But, but yeah, yeah. And, Honda uh, Center is the arena. So, so either one of those, man, that's like a seven-minute drive for me. So mm -hmm. imagine that. Just getting in my car, driving over. That that would be incredible. Yeah. So you're right. That's actually the, the spot to do it. But at the same time, I wouldn't mind going into enemy territory and pulling it off too, you know. So it, yeah. it wouldn't be the worst. Uh, I fought in Abu Dhabi last time. I don't love going out there and, and you know, all of the 14 or 18, 20 hour flight I have to deal with. I don't love that stuff, but um, I don't mind it either at the same time. You know, I, I had, uh, in my opinion, one of my best performances last fight and it was all the way over there. Yeah. And, you know, those extra 45 minutes, it's called the crypto.com arena now. It used to be called Staples, but it, that's not a bad investment either because. I remember going there a few times, man. I've seen Paul Walker, Paris Hilton, a lot of stars come out. And I know that's probably not your thing, but it, uh, but L.A. can kind of step it up a little bit sometimes in, in that regard, uh, that's, just putting a little bit more pizzazz on the event, you know? That's true. Like, if Denzel Washington shows up, bro, color me st uh, starstruck because I'm a, like, there are, I mean, there's actors, I'm fans too. Like, I'm not a, I'm not dead inside. I, I like <laughs> I watch uh, I watch a little bit of movies. Like I'm a big fan of Denzel. Um, uh, Chris Pratt's pretty good. I, I loved him from uh, Parks and Rec. Uh, Steve Carell from The Office. Like if these guys show up, I'll uh, I'll definitely fanboy. Like there's definitely actors I would fanboy. Uh, mm -hmm. Not I don't know if too many musicians, but a lot of, there's a few actors. I could see Denzel. He goes to a lot of Laker games and he's been in a lot of boxing matches. I don't recall off the top of my head if he's been to some MMA matches, but uh, I, I'm sure he would love to back a SoCaler now that, you know, he kind of lives in SoCal and he backs SoCal teams. Uh, as far as the other ones, I'm not too sure about, but um, yeah, man. I think, yeah. I, I think Chris Pratt is like a big MMA guy, right? He goes to a lot mm -hmm. of MMA fights. Yeah. So, I mean, that'd be cool, but um, yeah. What's, 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 what's the lady, Charlize Theron? She's big. She lives in LA, I believe. So is Halle Berry. They're 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 big MMA fans. Uh, Robert true. Downey Jr. So yeah, it, it's LA is kind of a little bit of a different scene, but that's where I want you to win your title. I mean, hey, if you do it here in Vegas, you're seven, saving us the trip. That's but true. We, we don't Listen, mind going back to so SoCal. Vegas is pretty much home for me. It's a three and a half hour drive. Vegas is not far. I think um, if if it was anywhere in Anaheim, oh my gosh, or LA, that is that would be wild. That that really would be something. Something wild, uh, but you know, UFC doesn't come here often. They're, um, I don't know if it's the athletic commission or it's because California is so expensive, but they don't come here too often. Yeah. What if you were to flip it and Joe Rogan interviews you and goes, what do you want next? And you go, oh, hey, whatever the UFC, uh, as long as they don't give me a title shot, I don't want that. Never mind my <laughs> nine fight win streak at this point. And Joe Rogan, I don't want to be on your podcast. Say the opposite of what you really want. Maybe maybe that that effect will, will take place. Actually, dude, don't uh, I can't I can't uh, I can't give Joe Rogan a hard time because he I think he actually invited me invited me uh, on uh, his podcast once, but then I never followed up. So oh my god, <laughs> yeah, bro, I'm 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 sorry, Joe. <laughs> if if you see this, I'm sorry, Joe. I uh, I should have followed up, but uh, I, I don't know, man. Um, I, it like I'm gonna win my next fight. I, I genuinely believe I'm going to win my next fight. And then right afterwards, they're going to be like, oh, title shot this. And I'm going to say the same thing I said last time. I'm not begging. I've done my part. It's it's on you guys. It's not on me. You know, I'm not a, like, bro, I'm not a beggar. Like, I, I just do my job. I, I, um, I, you presented whatever challenge you presented in front of me. I've stepped up. I've overcome. So it, it's on you. Why is it on me? Why am I, why do I get over here and get on my knees and beg for, for, uh, for a piece of metal. You want to know who the best fighter is in the world? Make it happen. It's it's in your hands. It's not in my hands. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Uh, and yeah, get back to Rogan. I think that would be good for you. And you guys could talk about it's all been the a, it's, 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 it's been a minute, man. It's been a minute before he, uh, since he messaged me. So sheesh, man. Dang. I wish I almost wish you didn't bring it up because now you know how <laughs> like you remember something and it makes you go. I'm, He's I'm a comedian. He's a comedian. He has a sense of humor. And I think he'll give you a pass. Benny, you're no joke, man. Your fights are exciting. And I bet you, Rogan, if you were to go name so 10 of your most exciting fighters he'd have respect because he's a jiu-jitsu guy and he knows you have awesome jiu-jitsu he's seen you in the circuit of socal but then the way you improved your striking i mean you're out there actually striking with noted strikers holding your own KOing some of them i'm sure joe rogan would give you a pass he's probably a huge fan of yours yeah. we're huge fans of yours we only want the best for you let's close with this I know this is a weird question to ask the guy that's not all getting right, the best right. of this, but what have you heard? Who who do you think will be next for Makachev since it seems like you're destined for Oliveira? What, what have you heard? I haven't heard anything, to be honest with you, but here's what I think can happen. Um, I think Makachev takes some time off. Uh, this is the first time he really was in a fight. I think he mm -hmm. takes some time off, and uh, he fights end of the year. He doesn't fight that early. I see. That being said, I jump in. I beat Charles. I don't know if Fazeev can beat uh, Justin, but if, if Fazeev beats Justin, and then it's the two of us, basically, uh, it's between the two of us of who gets the title shot. And then um, with that, like, you never know. But I will be number – I mean, I'm, on paper, I'm number one contender, so it would be hard to deny me. And then finally, you have Connor – and Chandler in the mix. Obviously, if Chandler wins, I don't think he's going to get a title shot. But if Connor wins, it's um, it's a possibility that they give him a title shot. Obviously, that fight would also be the end of the year, so it, it, it might um, it might not work out in favor of him. I might uh, I might get the title shot before. So it's one of those things. I don't know. Yeah. Well. Hearing you talk um, does remind me of something, and that's the fact that we sometimes, we, you're right, we just can't control it. And worrying about it and overthinking it fries the brain. So I get I get why, you know, sometimes it's just best to roll with, the, with these punches anyway. I mean, look at me. I'm already gray. If I start worrying about tomorrow, geez, man, you, you're going to turn like 50 uh, in a couple of weeks. I... Right now, be between my wife, my daughter, and, and then uh, my mother and my, my parents-in-law, I got enough stress, you know. I, my, I don't need any more gray hairs. This is, uh, this is bad enough right here. Hey, you know dinner's going to be tough to do, right? So are, are you going to, like, maybe call just call something in? Or are you going to call uh, the Olive Garden, Chili's? Or are you stepping it up uh, to Mastro's or what? My wife likes barbecue, and I like barbecue. So we'll, we'll find a nice barbecue spot, and then we'll uh, – We'll uh, we'll either we'll bring it home or we'll just eat at the because barbecue spots are not like a place where you take your 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 wife for a, uh, a Valentine's Day. So we'll just go. We'll we'll pig out and then uh, come home. Good idea. All right. Thanks as always for the time. Any, wish you any the best. Time, we wish you the best with your two twenty twenty three. I think it's going to be a great year for you. I appreciate it, bro. You guys take care and. Uh, We'll, we'll, we'll talk again. I'm uh, pretty sure we'll talk again soon. All right. We'll see you, Benny. Take care. Bye.